Hi, I'm Randy Reed. It's todayinlighting.com, Monday, 23 June, and I hope you had a nice weekend. We're sponsored by MaxLight, energy-efficient products for over 30 years. If you enjoy Today in Lighting, please hit the like button. Here are the stories making news. Our celebrity shout-out this morning goes to Brian Kelt and Keith Gelman of Lighting Services, Inc. with her own Cliff Smith. This picture was taken last week at the IES NYC Lumen Gala. Last week, we published our complete Lumen Awards article in Designing Lighting, featuring curated content from the event. Also, we published our fashion report, spotlighting the creative, personal, and theme-inspired looks that lit up this year's gala. We had a lot of fun with that fashion article. Read them both at designinglighting.com. The 2025 IES Philadelphia Filaments Award Dinner celebrated emerging lighting talent with scholarships, honorable mentions, and a hands-on luminaire design competition honoring innovation, creativity, and the future of the lighting industry. More on the EdisonReport.com. Many first-gen LED systems are dimming and degrading. A guide by George McIntyre helps lighting contractors turn aging LEDs into upgrade opportunities, focusing on quality controls, education, and smarter retrofits. In the new Lighting Controls podcast episode, Steve Mesh shares how only LLLCs succeeded in a high-rise retrofit, revealing key lessons on smarter designs, better documentation, and avoiding common installation pitfalls. We link to that at edisonreport.com. Alloy LED introduces the Surfa Knife Edge 4-inch a sleek surface mount channel that delivers a vanishing cove effect with easy installation, smooth corner transitions, and uniform facing LED light. Find out more at designinglighting.com. On Friday, the Dow was up 35, NASDAQ dropped 99, and Acuity lost $4.35. That's it. Go light up the world. Have a great week. Pray for peace.